In 1912, the journey of healing began in the Kuchuk Mustafa Pasha neighborhood of Istanbul. The person who began the journey was pharmacist Abdi Nadir Ibrahim Bey. In a tiny pharmacy, Abdi Nadir Ibrahim Bey produced ready-made medicines that restored health in innumerable households at a time when Turkey was fighting World War I. He was named chief of the army's medical depot founded in Saraybornu during the war where he prepared hydrophilic cotton for the first time. Compact hydrophilic cotton bandages with high absorption capacity were used to dress the wounds of soldiers injured at the front. In 1919, in order to heal more people, he opened a pharmaceutical laboratory and began to produce ready-made medicines. In 1927, following the sudden passing of Abdi Nadir Ibrahim Bey, his wife Fatma Mevish Hanim took over the laboratory's management. One of Turkey's first women industrialists, Fatma Mevish Hanim led the way for the production of Galenic preparations. 1940 marked the beginning of the second generation at Abde Ibrahim with pharmacist Ibrahim Hayre Barut. Ibrahim Hayre Barut diligently continued the journey of healing initiated by his father. To increase production volume, he moved the laboratory to the neighborhood of Vefa. When he took over management, the production staff expanded. Ibrahim Hayre Barut, just like his father, dedicated his life to healing. Following the sudden passing of Ibrahim Hayre Barut in 1961, his spouse, Belma Barut, handed the reins of the company to family member Dr. Mekin Alpai, supporting the perpetuity of the business. In these trying times, Ibrahim Hayre Barut's daughter, Nesrin Barut Esirtgen, and her spouse, Ahmed Kamil Esirtgen, provided support to Dr. Alpai. Belma Barut thus ensured the longevity of the company, which then took its current name, becoming a joint stock company in 1975 as a result of the contributions of Ahmed Kamil Esirtgen. Having lost his father Ibrahim Hayre Barut at a very young age, Nezi Barut studied pharmacy at Istanbul University and then went to England to further his studies. Soon after, he returned to Turkey and joined the management of the company. When pharmacist Nezi Barut came on board in 1981, the third generation took over Abde Ibrahim's journey of healing. Hence began the era in which Abde Ibrahim grew bigger and stronger by the day and took massive steps toward healing the world. With Nesrin Barut Esirtgan's support, the company's foreign relations were strengthened, and this period was marked by many foreign collaborations. In 1994, foundations were laid for the new production facilities in Esenyurt. Production at international standards began in 1996. The 2000s were marked by leadership and breakthroughs for Abdi Ibrahim. In 2007, Abde Ibrahim became the first Turkish company to be included on the list of the world's top 100 pharma companies. The same year, the company moved its headquarters to Maslak. The building's architect, Dante Benini, received an award for this design. In 2008, Abde Ibrahim opened the first accredited pharmaceutical R&D center in Turkey. Next up was the Technologistic Center. The destination of the journey of healing was now the rest of the world. Abde Ibrahim stepped up its efforts to attain global goals. First, Abde Pharma was established in Portugal. In its centenary, Abde Ibrahim founded Abde Ibrahim Global Farm by acquiring a 60% stake in Global Farm, one of the largest companies in Kazakhstan. Abde Ibrahim established Abde Ibrahim Otsuka through a 50-50 partnership with the Japanese pharma giant Otsuka. This was the first joint venture entered into by Otsuka in its history. In Algeria, the foundations of Abde Ibrahim Remede Pharma were laid in a 50% partnership with Remede Pharma. Investments began to establish Algeria's most advanced pharma factory. Growing stronger with production facilities in and outside Turkey, Abde Ibrahim has been aware of its social responsibilities. Abde Ibrahim successfully launched the healing project of Sultan Bayezid II Ederne Dar al-Shifa. In terms of social investment programs, the company focused on four main areas – health, sports, social innovation in health, and volunteer projects for meeting social needs by training and creating scientific awareness in youth. To strengthen corporate responsibility, the company took a major step by establishing the Abdi Ibrahim Foundation 
which is active in the fields of education, health, and sports. Investments were made into the US-based Ocugen, a company engaged in ocular diseases, developing biologics and gene therapy medications. As part of constant initiatives in the industry and across the country, Abdi Ibrahim established a sterile ophthalmology and inhalation production facility, resolutely treading the path to become a significant player in the global pharma industry. Abdi Ibrahim opened Abdibio Biotechnological Medicine Production Facility. Turkey's leading pharma company since 2002, Abdi Ibrahim has proudly purchased 28.5% of OM Pharma, a biotech company from Switzerland, the world's pharmaceutical capital. With this purchase, Abdi Ibrahim became the first Turkish pharma company to have executive power in a European pharma company. In 2021, Abdi Ibrahim added a new investment by acquiring a 90% share of Inoliva, a company that operates in the Turkish health sector and that has rapidly achieved recognition in the market with its innovative products. Meanwhile, Abdi Ibrahim took every step to consider future generations. As of 2020, all facilities of Abdi Ibrahim began to use 100% renewable energy. Aiming to become a carbon-neutral company by 2030, Abdi Ibrahim has adapted its strategies to UN's Sustainable Development Goals and continues its activities by supporting nine of these goals. Now it's time to heal the future. With more than 100 years of experience, Abdi Ibrahim sets massive targets to heal the world. The company takes steps to shape the future, including the work it has done in biotechnology on its way to becoming Turkey's top biosimilar player and the circular economy projects it has led. Abdi Ibrahim resolutely moves toward becoming a powerful international pharmaceutical company. On this journey that has continued with pride throughout generations, inspiring the world, the goal has not changed since day one. Healing life, healing the future, healing the world.